this video, we're going to be breaking down kind of the king of the lounge matchup between Henry and Dez. In my opinion, this is probably the matchup of the year. This is the matchup I think everybody wants to see. This is probably the best matchup of the Men 24 season. And it comes in May. And uh, I think it was May or late April. But um, anywho, wanted to kind of break down this game and uh, these series of games for you guys and just kind of break down a lot about Madden, uh, kind of where it's at here as we kind of head down down uh, the towards the end of the, of the season. These guys, uh, over the last two, three years, are basically the best two players in the world. Uh, and they've sustained their success. Dez actually has come in off of two tournament wins in the offseason. I think the RHG and the, the w. W, uh, tournament tournament wins that he had. And he is actually kind of at least the master of this defense right here. So he's going to run a lot of this, which is basically we're going to bring the safeties down into the box. It allows us to do a lot of different things uh, defensively. Both of these players, it's kind of interesting to me, but both of these players, what I believe makes them as good as they are, is they are really good on defense. They're really, really good on defense. I believe Henry is going to be in the Colts playbook and uh, Dez is going to be in jet so the two meta most most effective playbooks of the year are going to be represented the most effective ways to and the best defensive players in the world are represented now that being said I did want to quickly mention to you guys about a new website called school it's a community page that we're going to be having that is where I'm going to be dropping all of my offensive and defensive ebooks going forward. There's a lot of user-friendly tools within this platform. You can sign up for just $10. $10 gets you access to everything over on that page. All of my eBooks are completely updated and kind of in their final form uh, where we've really kind of gathered all of the information that we've learned about Madden 24. And these are the final form or the most effective ways to run these different defenses and offenses. We'll have over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks for you available over there, as well as some kind of mini schemes, some off meta stuff. So if you guys want all of my ebooks going forward, that is going to be available on school. Patreon members will still get updated, but we are going to be moving to school. Uh, I just think it's a lot better for you guys, and it's going to be a lot easier to navigate the site, have better community engagement interactions, and be able to just get your questions answered. So if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I would really encourage you to sign up for our school page. It's only $10, and I guarantee it's going to make you better at Madden. All right, let's get into this game. Looks like Henry's going to start it with a run, trying to get on a hash mark. Certainly is able to do that. And this is at the point in the year, you know, where we have all of the abilities in the world. Everybody has jukebox. There's a bunch of KOs everywhere. The quarterback has got everything. You know, he's probably got roaming dead eye, gunslinger, set feet lead, hot route master, all of the above, right? So this is a good setup here at a double post. And Henry, I will say for – one of the big differences between Henry and Dez, I find that Henry very rarely misses reads. Um, I feel like Dez kind of plays a little more robotic. Henry is is just he's, it's just impressive what he's been able to do over the last couple of years. But anyways, goes to a double corner setup, wide side, not available. And we're going to kind of get into this. Now, because we are in a series of three, I'm going to kind of like, point out a couple things as we go here we get a lot of backed offs potentially double Mabel run the ball um, best of threes are a lot more fun I think to analyze than just an isolated one game single a limb and the reason why is I just think like I said better to analyze more stuff to talk about you kind of see the schemes evolve and develop the adjustments and different things like that of that nature Henry loves that little play that little flat zig on the left a little in route and table on the back side and uh, early is on a fourth down. So Dez comes out, plays pretty decent defense. And anytime you can hold somebody to three in Madden, it's considered, you know, a big win. Now, Henry is going to be in this nickel 3-3 three, three odd. And he's been running this nickel 3-3 three, three odd for the last several months. Kind of the defense that Drini was running. He actually ran, uh, Henry actually ran this defense in the, in the Madden Bowl against TJ. Played really good defense that game. And really the basics of this defense real quick is he's going to be basing out of cover through cloud. Now notice what he's doing. 
this defense used to be notorious for this guy cross-firing into the A-gap at a five-man pressure. What Henry's going to do is he's basically going to create that by moving this guy. As you can see, he's going to move him over to that same spot. And when you blitz him, he's still going to get that cross-fire. So we kind of get that same basic idea of the five-man A-gap pressure that is so popular. The other thing about this is Henry is basically uh, is basing out of this cover three cloud, which the coverage is going to basically look kind of like what you see on your screen with a little flat over here, a little flat here, and then obviously the user in the middle of the field. So it's a really good defense, and occasionally we'll drop this guy out and send a four-man. Occasionally we'll do a three-man shed D, but that's kind of the pressure package that you see. So here he kind of changes it up. Really interesting little change up right here. I love this. He ends up blitzing the slot corner, which is rare. The reason why is because the protection to block the A-gap, as you see, is to double team this guy. So this guy is going to come free off this edge. This guy becomes the flat defender. And really, we're still in the same basic structure of the defense that Henry is in. So kind of interesting there. Des, oh, almost a pick there if that guy turns around. Again, these guys have mid-zone KO. They have deep-zone KO. They have those, those two KO stacks are super valuable. But as you can see, same basic thing. Let's we'll see the defense again. This time we send just a basic four-man pressure. And you'll see Henry kind of mix up his looks a lot or mix up the, the back end. What's, what makes a good defensive player in Madden is you want everything to look the same. So another underrated thing that Henry does that you don't see a lot of people do is he's showing blitz. That brings these safeties down to about 10-yard depth. That brings these guys into kind of an interesting position as well. And so the show blitz look is really kind of what Henry um, is really kind of fundamentally basing out of. Here you see there's the five man. This time we get a blocked running back. And um, pretty good pressure. Ends up going with kind of a cover two on that left side. And what we see Henry doing so far, the first majority of this game, is he is rolling his coverage. He's rolling his coverage significantly and consistently. He's either rolling over the solo side or he's rolling over the bunch side and sending four to five people at the quarterback. Here we get a little RPO from Dez. RPOs are great just to kind of keep your opponent honest and just remind them that they have to respect your RPO capabilities. So here again... Goes with that deep third on that left side for double corners. Really good defense. And really what this does, this roll coverage technique that Henry is using with the outside third and the cloud flat, that does a really good job of taking away the double corner play. Here you see he's going to go with a double flat here to the right with that 20-yard purple. And then you see here the cloud. So you can't run double corner to the left because this third and this cloud. And then on the right-hand side, we're double flatting for like Durham or something like that. Really good, really good defense. And you're kind of starting to see some of Henry's strategies. And it's really not a ton of adjustments so far. So far, pretty standard coverages, mabling, um, double flatting, and uh, stuff of that nature. So first and 10 there goes to Durham. You should see Dez go to more Durham. The double corner is really not available. He's kind of taken that away. He's going to stay in bunch, maybe wide curl here. Motion over the tight end. I think this is inside cross, actually. It's a block in the tight end. Kind of an interesting route combo. This is what I was talking about about Dez. He kind of just does stuff like this on offense sometimes where it's hard to kind of understand why he's doing what he's doing. Henry is going to do more standard stuff, and Henry's just going to execute at a really high level. Here goes to five wide. There's a QB draw in here. And then there's this little drive, little speed dig type play. I actually like that play setup. But Dez kind of likes to audible around a lot, give you a lot of different looks. And he also likes to play fast. So kind of another thing to kind of keep in mind as you watch this, as you watch here. Okay, so he goes to trips. This is, um, we're looking at the screen here. This is very common. Leaves that guy completely open, but he usered him pretty good. Almost gets it stopped there. And he holds Dez to a fourth down. So another thing to kind of take away from these two players so far early is they both had really good possessions defensively. 
They were able to bend but don't break, hold to three. Bend but don't break, hold to three. Both players are also doing something similar that is really important to learn. They're both making everything look the same on defense. You don't know if they're in man or zone. You don't know if they are in a blitz look or if they are in a cover maximum coverage look, right? Dez has got this double safety look pretty much every single time. Here's the deep half. Henry throws right at it. Actually not a great read from Henry there because Dez did deep half him. And Henry loves this double post, goes with the drag. Post, combo, playmaker. Surprising playmaker. That I don't know why I just leave it. That double post setup that you just saw him run, I think is the most underrated double post setup of the year. With the drag coming under that post, it's a shallow cross variation. It's really effective. We'll see. He lo Henry loves double post. All right, so we got the corner to the tight end with the drag. Corner, short corner. Not there. Step up. And Dez is doing – Dez is playing really good defense. Playing really good defense. Bimba don't break. Mixing up his coverages. Using this double safety look. So it always looks the same. And you're going to see DB fire. He'll occasionally pinch his D-line. But really, you know, typically that's, you know, for run defense. And there are some pressures you can get out of pinching your D-line under this look. But generally speaking um, – He's going to stay in spinner or DB fire or double safety blitz. Occasionally go to cover through cloud, but not often. All right, so second and two. Got the streak. Got the crosser. Kind of an interesting combo. I just uh, I feel like that's late. C route was open over there on the right-hand side. Dez is doing a lot of deep halving of that solo side. So the reason you would deep half that say, that corner that's on the solo side in the bunch is to prevent the cover three bomb from double post. The problem is it leaves the C route wide open. So we'll see if Henry starts to hit that little inside zone, trying to kind of pick up the first down. Doesn't pick up the first down. And now we have a fourth and one. Now this situation, kind of time to go for it. Kind of time to go for it here. So we'll see what Henry goes to in his fourth and one uh, situational play calls. I think that's, you know, you can learn a lot about people by what they call on fourth and fourth and one, fourth and three, third and eight. So we go to dig return. Probably going to go to double post with a drag. Let's see. Nope. He's going to use the tight end drag. Oh, so heavy pressure. Did Dez, what did Dez do? Okay, so right here, Dez comes out in 6-1. So that's the first time we've seen 6-1 all game. So if you're Henry, you have to think to yourself, why would he come out in this defense? It's probably to send everybody because this is the fastest and the most overpowering blitz in the game. So if you have six coming, that means you have one, two, three, four, five that you can cover with. So Henry's route combo here is interesting. You see he blocks his running back. Okay. That's going to pick this up off the left side. This block and release is going to pick up that right side for just a second for him to make this read. Now, as you can see here, Dez has chosen to use her this defender. So there's only one defender on this side. He's either going to take this crosser or he's going to take the C route typically. So Henry is watching the user. Does the user go here? If so, we're going to throw here. All right. If the user goes to the crosser, then we're going to look to throw this drag underneath. So it's kind of like, again, just evaluating your options in a key situation. So user goes up to the crosser. He throws the post right at the middle. Should have been a KO. Wasn't a KO. And I didn't love the – I actually didn't love the route combo. I feel like he did not give himself enough underneath stuff. But ends up working out. Goes to verticals with the Texas pattern. Throws a pick. Okay. Terrible. I think what happened here is honestly he got bumped. So if you watch right here, it's a good read. He sees this guy in a cloud. So when he sees this, Henry has trained himself – Okay, we're going to throw the ball over here, right? That's where he wants to throw it. 
based off of the constrained amount of space on the field, we are down in the red zone, and you get a little bit of a bump here, what ends up happening is the ball, as you can see, it's going here. I think Henry wants to throw it back more to the pylon, ends up going just a, a, a little bit shallow of that, and he's able to get a lurk and able to get a pick. So kind of interesting. And Des comes up with a full-fledged interception and stop on Henry. Henry, as you see, has been in cover through cloud every single time. Show blitz, move that guy over. He sometimes put him in a hard flat. Sometimes he blitzes him. Run the ball from Dez, and Dez is in a really good spot. I believe Dez is going to get balled half as well. So if he can take the clock, which was the purpose of the run there, if he can get the clock working, there you see I love that nice little man up. And basically Dez is trying to clock this out, which is smart, very smart. So third and one, ball on the 20. And... There's cover through cloud. There's the blitz setup with the contains. So you see there. The street corner. Nice catch. Nice. Good route. All right, so Dez is in business. Again, even if Dez only gets three, he's in an advantageous position. He's trying to go up by two possessions next time Henry has the ball. Here you see Henry's kind of main coverage, and I think that's important to just take note of. It's really not that complicated. It's just a roll covered three. Second 11, uh, looks like Dez went up with a run there. Going to take down to the two-minute warning. So the purpose of that, just to, again, we're just trying to make sure we get out of this quick. He's going to send a four-man pressure with a vert hook on a left, rolling the coverage. Again, notice the roll is to the short side. So that cloud is normally on the short side of the field. Uh, something, a principle that I've talked about before. Nice KO there. It was a kind of a tight window if he possession catches it and, Sometimes you get a fall down animation there, but not always. So again, so I see here, right, really good example. Short side of the field, this cloud is on the short side of the field with the third rolling over the top. And he ends up halving that guy probably to try to stop that route. It did not stop that route. As you see his face in the top left, kind of like, you know, looking perplexed. All right, first and 10, just the run game. So right here, he's trying to take his timeouts, right? If he can take his timeouts, he can limit Henry's potential to go down and get three in the case that Dez has to take three. A little cross man on the tight end, go to a five wide look. Goes max coverage. Okay, not bad, not bad. He's got his flats on 20. It's kind of interesting. You don't see a lot of people zone dropping their flats and pressing them. So there could be some reasons for that. Users that quarter. Good read from Des. You see just how much of Madden is just making the right read. It really is. Like Henry had one zone on the left-hand side. He had to go use the corner. Des able just to check down to the running back. Had, to, had Henry stayed on the... On the running back, he probably would have thrown the corner for a touchdown. But this is where the game is really won and lost, is the red zone. And in Madden, the red zone's kind of the 10-yard line and in. So notice kind of Henry going through. He's setting up his 6-1. Going to shift his line. Going to stand about here with his user, trying to blow up the stretch. Able to do so. Really nice. Takes some time out. Now Dez is going to probably run the ball again. So again, in Dez's position... You really just are trying to make sure that no matter what, Henry does not get this ball back with more than 15 seconds. Um, so you should so you should see him here go to another running play. It's a rundown, which is also kind of important in the big picture of the game management, understanding defensive play calls. What's the situation justify them calling? Here come out of five wide, kind of an odd play call. Uh, probably going to be some type of screen with a scramble or a QB sneak, maybe an audible. He does audible down to single back. This is single back bunch. And, yep, just going to run the ball. And really not a great run. I don't know why. You know, there, there could be a reason why he ran that. But 
not a not a not really trying to score there. Not Dez's best red zone play by any means. So ball is on the one yard line, about forty seconds left. This is where you'll see Dez pass. He could very well pass the ball here. He probably is still going to run the ball uh, just so that he can take all the clock. And then if he wants to pass on fourth down, he can. Or if he wants to take a field goal, he can. He's going to actually probably take a timeout right here. I kind of don't understand that timeout call. Kind of surprised by that timeout call. I guess he's thinking he's going to give Henry the ball back with 20. Yeah, just kind of surprised because now, like, if you run the ball, your your clock is kind of against you. Goes to the jet sweep, which is what he wanted to run. That was his money play. You saw him setting that up in his audibles. He does go to the jet sweep, gets the jet sweep. I like that. The cool part about that jet sweep specifically is you can audible to that from bunch because it's in a single back tight formation versus a single back deuce close. But now this is where kind of a negative. Henry has 26 seconds. So if Henry can make a big, big, and he's going to go right to a big play, that cross screen with the corner, really nice, gets right out of bounds. That's masterful. That's exactly what you want to do as Henry. That's exactly what I would have been worried about if I was Des in that situation. Just the way Madden 24 plays, these big rollout corners crossers are certainly open. Um, you know, so, I mean, it's just – and he doesn't have timeouts, but a playmaker pick. Oh, my gosh, that's terrible. So that's not his best read. <laughs> not his best read. Dez actually doesn't have a timeout anymore, so it's not terrible. But it was not his best read. He had a field goal. If he just throws that away, you know, and Henry, you know, very well could be just kind of just not, not, not playing super locked in. This is a little bit more of like a friendly matchup, exhibition match, you know, but kind of interesting that he I made that read. I was surprised. And Dez is going to get that, and that's it. All right, second half. Dez gets ball. Again, kind of seeing the same stuff from Henry coverage-wise, which is really interesting because, you know, you watch these games, and sometimes they make a lot of adjustments. Sometimes they don't, and it kind of just depends on the defense. Now, I will also say the one thing about 3-3-5 odd that I've always found interesting, you can only make so many adjustments out of this one because of the way the blitz has to work for you. So like here, deep half should stop the bomb. And running back. Good read from Dez. Okay. So Dez is in kind of complete control of this game. There's that route again. That Nice, good read. Henry has to use for that. That's a really good route combo from Trips that a lot of people, a lot of people don't realize how good of a combo that is. Jukebox, juke again. And so Dez is doing a really good job of kind of controlling the pace of the game and just kind of like making sure that he gets points on this drive. If he gets points on this drive, it's it's a significant advantage for him to do that. If he, you know, obviously if he gets seven, it's huge, but even three is not a bad thing here because you give yourself a two possession advantage, which, you know, is 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 helpful. So we'll see here. Henry's doing this a lot. See how there's no zone on the left. See how he runs with that corner? He's late. That's a touchdown. That should have been a touchdown. Yeah, it is. Henry did that a lot. That's kind of interesting what his strategy was with that. I don't feel like he needed to. I feel like I feel like Dez was not killing it on offense. And I do feel like Henry kind of over adjusted a little bit there. Sometimes over-adjusting is certainly uh, just giving your user a little too much to do, which, which could result in, in wide-open touchdowns. Double post, got the C route. C route was open, didn't throw it. Guess his user was there. It's interesting, Henry really does not throw that C route. A lot of bunch players don't. A lot of bunch players don't throw that C route, which is kind of like, okay, let's throw a flat out there. Let's throw a third uh, or a deep half on that solo side guy and call it good. Here we're going to go with a little smash return setup. I love this setup. Throw the drag. See, this is just a good yard gainer setup. Not every setup in Madness created equal. Smash return gives you so many options against so many different coverages. That's what makes it really one of the better combos in the game. Go straight corner flat, juke 
out of there. Nice juke from Henry. This is something Henry talks a lot about is this right here, this juke. When he throws that, juke's out, gone. Nice play. So Henry's in for seven. Des is ball. See how, see if Henry's able to stop him. Nickel 335 three, odd. Show blitz. Move that guy over. Now we're going to see how he kind of just changes his zones. Could be on a flat, could be on a hook, could be manned up. There's a lot you could do with that linebacker. Nothing there. Good read from Dez. See what he goes to here. Henry kind of staying in this. This is the coverage. This is the coverage that Dez has struggled the most with. Takes a drag, good check down. Flat. This is the send five. This is the pinch play. Good run. Yeah, really, Henry has not. It's almost like he's filling him out for the first game. He's not done a lot different. There's that hard flat I'm going to go use in the corner. This time he's able to get there, gets the pressure, good defense. I guess he's doing that so he could throw that guy on the left in a cur hook curl. Let's go corner. There's a deep in route, almost a D-line pick. That was good D. That was probably the best defense Henry's played all game. All right, so we got that. Roll coverage, nice. Got a cross man, that middle trips receiver. Really good defense, really good defense, and the zone's just backed up too much. Now we get him on a fourth down, so this is where our biggest chance of a stop. So. You know, Henry's kind of playing pretty solid def defense this specific drive and now kind of going for his stop to get him back in the game. Looks like Dez probably going to take this to the fourth. Yeah, he's going to take this to the fourth. Five minutes. Ends up taking his three. All right. So Dez takes his three here. Okay, I get the decision. Didn't love what he wanted to do, I don't, you know. So now Henry has to go score. But if Henry scores, he's in a pretty good spot, honestly. He's, not, he's, he's, he's in a decent spot. He can score, hold the three, or get a stop. There's that C route. See, I've been saying that. Henry starts to notice that. Henry's not going to miss that too much. And he's able to, to complete that to the sideline. That's been open pretty much all game. Go post. There's a double corner, the R1. And there was a cover. I think that might have been cover through cloud from Dez. Henry does not go to double corner, corner a ton. He's going to go to dagger here, maybe Y trail. Yeah, going to try to get a bomb here. Because, yeah, that's actually a really good th – that's actually a really, really good play call. He didn't get it completed, but because Dez was running a lot of cover three cloud, that wide trail play, there's a little window in which that could be a one-play touchdown. And it's a really, really good little kind of mix-in to everything else he was able to do. Ends up fumbling, and I think that's going to basically be it. So Henry fumbles, Dez gets the ball. Kind of a tough way to lose this one, but now does complete control. I mean, Henry has to get a stop here. or hold. He can hold a three and still have a chance to win, but the clock is really against him now, and that's why you see Dez kind of running the ball, taking his time off the clock, and uh, we'll see here going with that version of a cover three on the left side. He's going to bluff blitz a lot. You see that bluff blitz there. So that bluff blitz um, provides a little three rec. It's going to sit over the middle, take away that drag. Really nice. Goes double corner. There's the third. Not able to get him. And that's going to be first down and goal. 
So now Henry's red zone defense is 6-1. This is uh, – Henry is in the Patriots defense. Probably the most – I'm pretty sure. Probably the most underrated defensive playbook in the game if you are running 3-3 odd because 6-1 is – it's the best 6-1 because it has Tampa 2. There's that little single back bunch tight end, bubble screen. Henry can't stop it. And Dez scores, and Henry is going to be out of there. All right, so Dez goes 1-0, and uh, we'll do – We'll uh, do the next game and uh, see what's going on. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you want to check out that school page, that link's going to be down in the description.